Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for grade 5. We are learning unit 4. Its title is A Better Place. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. And my dear children, we are going to learn about masculine and feminine nouns. Before this, in English for grade 4, I have already taught you masculine and feminine. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to classify and change the gender masculine, feminine, and neuter of more nouns from immediate and extended environment, masculine, feminine, and neuter. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Yasin, verse 36. Glory be to the one who created all things in pairs. Be it what the earth produces, their genders, or what they do not know. Yes, my dear children, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that Allah has created pairs. And what does pair mean? A mama and a baba. Okay? So, whatever Allah has created in pair, they grow in their generations. Right? This is how this earth grows for all the creations which are in pairs. And who planned this and who created it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So, my dear children, first you tell me what are masculine nouns and what are feminine nouns. Do you remember the definition, how we differentiate? So, pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear children, I hope you have answered correctly. First, let's recall the definition of noun. What, is the, what are nouns? Everything around us has a name and that is, we can see, whole touch or feel that is noun. And we classify nouns into person, place and thing. And we further classify things into living and non-living things, right? Now, my dear children, when we talk about a place or a non-living thing, they don't have mama and baba, you know, this place or this thing. They don't have mama, baba. So they are called neuter gender. And when we talk about person or living things, they have gender. Male and female. Male and female. So these are known as genders. Okay. And these nouns which don't have gender are known as neuter nouns. Neuter gender nouns. Understand? Okay, let's learn further. Now, masculine. Masculine nouns are words for men, boys, and male animals. So, the words, the nouns which represent or refers to males only are masculine nouns like father, waiter, rooster, etc. Feminine nouns are words for women, girls, and female animals. So, the nouns which represent females only are feminine nouns. Right? You, you could recall it, okay? Its examples are king. Now, when I say king, it refers to a man only. King is a man always. That's why it's a masculine noun. Bull masculine noun, rooster, masculine noun, and man, all are masculine noun because these names refer to males only, right? Queen, when I say queen, it refers to a female always. That's why it's a feminine noun. Cow, a feminine noun. Hen, a feminine noun. Woman, a feminine noun. So, all these nouns which refer to females only are feminine nouns. 
and nouns that refer to non-living things are said to be of neuter gender. Okay, so nouns which don't have gender, neither male nor female, they are neuter gender nouns. Its examples are table, swing, cup, and boat. All are, they don't have mama, baba, they don't have gender, so they are neuter gender nouns, right? Masculine nouns are words for men, boys, and male animals. And masculine nouns belong to the male gender. Feminine nouns are word for women, girls, and female animals. And feminine nouns belong to female gender. Now here are the masculines and here are their feminine. I suggest pause the video and read all these masculine feminines and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So, here are a few rules. Nouns that end in ES or REWS often belongs to feminine gender. For example, when I say actress, it's a feminine noun. Loyness, princess, tigress, waitress, stewards. Many nouns are used for both males and females. Now, there are few nouns which we can use for males and females both, okay? For example, doctor. When I say doctor, it can be a male doctor or a lady doctor, both, right? Words for things that are neither male or female are called neuter nouns. These nouns which may refer to males and females both are known as common gender nouns and which are known neither to male nor to female are neuter nouns, for example, bench, forest, and so on, right? So once again, pause the video, read all these nouns, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So the different ways of forming gender from masculine gender to feminine gender. How do we write? A feminine gender noun if we are given a masculine gender noun. The first rule is by changing masculine gender noun entirely. For example, father, mother, boy, girl, bull, cow. For such type of nouns, we need to learn them and we need to uh, like have a what vocabulary for that, right? The second rule is by adding letter E, S or double S, to the masculine gender. Now the masculine gender noun is there. If you add E double S or double S, it becomes the feminine of the same masculine noun. For example, poet, poetess. Now, after writing this masculine noun, I have added E double S, it becomes feminine noun for poet. Prince, princess. The third rule is by changing the spelling and adding the letters E double S or SS to the masculine gender noun. For example, waiter, waitress. And better, what do we do? Basically, before this R, we drop this E and write E double S after R. It becomes the feminine of this noun. Waiter, waitress. Again, we drop this E and add E double S, it becomes the feminine. Hunter, huntress, right? By changing a part of masculine gender noun, like if uh, the masculine gender noun is a compound word, for example, father in law. So this word is referring to gender. We will just change this part in and change it into feminine father in law, mother in law. Had master, had mistress, right? So these are the rules which we learned today. So I'm going to check here through an activity. Are you ready for an activity? All right. So students start by diagramming themselves and their parents and then work backward through their ancestry for as far as they can. They should also include aunts, uncles, cousins, when possible. You can find a 
blank family tree template below or have your students design their own. I prefer they should design their own tree and make the branches and leaves and the family members. Then have students share about their family with two or three classmates. After each person has shared general information about the members of their family, challenge your students to take their explanation a step further. Have group members choose two members of the speaker's family and the speaker must then explain the relationship between those two people. This is interesting, okay? For example, a person might explain, that is my grandfather and that is my cousin. My grandfather is my cousin's great uncle, right? This is how you will explain it and you can make this activity more interesting. So pause the video, complete this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it's time to practice from your book. Fill in the blanks with the suitable masculine or feminine noun. So here are the sentences and the uh, gender nouns have been underlined. You have to fill with the opposite gender. Fill in the blanks. Pause the video. Complete this exercise in your book and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So here's time for your homework. You will cut out pictures, five masculine, five feminine, and five common five neuter gender noun from any old magazine and or a newspaper. Paste these pictures in your notebook and label them as masculine, feminine, common, and neuter gender. So in this way, here is a worksheet. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide students with printed worksheet for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do, you have to complete these tables for the opposite genders. So what we have learned today, we learned to classify and change the gender of masculine, feminine, neuter of more nouns from immediate and extended environment. And we, we learned to recognize and identify the common gender used for male and female. So in this way, we achieved our SLO. Classify and change the gender, masculine, feminine, neuter of more nouns from immediate and extended environment. Are we done with it? Yes, and that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing. Take very good care of yourself and all the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.